Do 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 do. It's the Ali show. Do 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 do. It's the Ali show. Do 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 do. Boom boom. Hi YouTube, welcome back to yet another video. As promised, I will be doing a um, saga of all the jobs that I quit and the reviews of each one. So this one is going to be Children's Place. Why I quit Children's Place. Um. So yeah. Had to get my book. So, how much I got paid? At Children's Place, I only got paid $9. I worked in the Children's Place in Arlington, Virginia. So, Virginia and D.C., they definitely do have a big um, gap in wages, even though they, like, right next door from each other. But, you know, it's state by state. Um, so, yeah. I worked the year of 2018, so maybe their um, pay has increased. But, like I had said, with Zara, I only work i mean not czar but at claire's i worked at claire's in arlington virginia as well and they paid me 11 dollars. but i was a manager uh, working in um claire so i'm pretty sure their pay rates didn't really approve that much because i only got paid um two dollars more and i was a manager so i don't even think you know but again it goes based on the location the interview process was very easy i got hired on the spot this was also one of my first jobs, so I worked, so I basically had like three first jobs. I worked Children's Place, Ross, and Macy's all together, but like I said um, in my previous video, I only worked at Ross one day. Um, Children's Place, I was only there for probably like two weeks. Um, did Children's Place drug test me? No, I was only an associate. Um, the department I worked in was obviously, you only have one department. The store was small as well. Um, what did I like about Children's Place? Just getting straight to the point. The only thing I liked about Children's Place was nothing, actually. I don't think I have anything that I liked about Children's Place. The uh, pay was bad. Um, I didn't really get to know the team. The manager, she really wasn't that friendly. Um, it, it wasn't like I could buy anything. I don't have any kids. I mean, I have nieces and nephews, but, you know, I'm not the type of aunt to, like, splurge on my nieces and nephews because it's like... I, I, I'm, I'm just not that aunt. I'm not that rich aunt. Um, and I don't claim to be. I'm just that funny, goofy aunt. But I'm not that... Like, I'll give you $5 if you need $5. But I, I wouldn't go to the point where I'll get you clothes because I don't I don't know their sizes or anything like that. Um, why I quit? That's probably is what's going to take a, the video. So, one, the pay. Of course, you know, like I said, this was my first job. So, I'm thinking $9 was a lot of money. Um, now that I'm older, I would never work for, from the job that I'm working now, I would never work under 15. All the jobs that I work at have to be 15 plus and I have to get 30 hours, um, for me to work at that job. And Children's Place, they only had me working twice out the week, which was both on weekends and it was closing shifts. So it was like, I wouldn't be able to have fun on weekends. And it was also a summer job. So it was like all my friends and stuff like that would have fun on the weekends and stuff and i would be at work um they only scheduled me for like five hours again i was old enough to work longer than that but children's place only had me there for two days which was week the weekends i told them that i had full availability um but the manager didn't care she just wanted me to close and yeah so forth um the theft was really bad i was actually working in the mall the theft was really bad kids would steal adults would steal it's nothing that you really could do with theft but it, it gets annoying because um what people don't understand when it comes to theft and retail that even though the stuff is insured you know store managers still have to report it as a loss and then store managers look at associates like why didn't you catch them even though it's against policy to run after a thief especially when they get out of the store i'm i will never be that type of associate or worker to fight a theft a person that's stealing because it's like the stuff is insured it's not like these companies are losing a buck they are billionaires millionaires they don't really care over you know who's stealing because they it's going to get replaced the next day um but store managers do because obviously their managers care about you know the turnover rate um and that's how children's place was the team like i said i didn't stay that long to get to know the team and i was only there for two days out the week so it's like they did have you know a small team but i only worked with my store manager my store manager even working with her it was like she left me 
on the floor my first day and I told her this was like my first job even though like it was my second job um, but I really don't count Clay I mean Ross because I was only at Ross for one day and she left me on the floor while I was behind the register and then that's when the line got long and then she came on the floor and she was like why didn't I come get her and I'm like so do you want me to like look after the thieves do you want me to be behind the register like i'm only one person here that's another thing too claire i mean not claire's but um children's place is also that type of company just like claire's that will only have one person working in the store for the entire shift which should never happen because you should always need three people minimum at each store whether it's a small store or a big store because you have to think about the theft you have to think about um a lot of these companies don't have security so if you catch a thief what if that thief has a friend that's going to come up to behind you and hit you upside the head? Like, you need a minimum three people. And I don't understand why companies only have one person staff for an eight-hour shift or, five, or, or even being there for five hours. That's too much for one person. And Children's Place wanted me to be that person. And I was like, no, like, I'm new to this. I'm not true to this. And, you know, Children's Place wasn't that type of company, you know, that you know i i wanted to stay at that long and children's place they didn't have a dress code that that's something i'd like they didn't have a dress code so you could wear whatever you wanted to wear but you know in my head i i had to think about like the kids so don't come up in there with short shorts or nothing like that but you know working with children's place it really wasn't that fun and also like you gotta you gotta be good to kids you have to like kids working at children's place because you will have customers you you gotta think about their target market their target market is kids um and parents and kids are very loud they run into things they push things over you could just fold the table and then here comes kids smacking it so it's like when it comes to kids and when it comes to women those to me are like the t toughest when it comes to customers because they are not really the cleanest even though like i'm hired to clean it's like you know still common courtesy if you just seen that i folded this whole table and you come and smack it you could at least ask for my assistance especially if i'm in the same area and usually that's what happens i'm in the same area and they still smack it over to like hurry up and get their size and it's like you could ask me hey can you lift this pile up so i can get my size and i feel like that's more you know friendlier you know classier than just because they don't clean up they think like you're a slave to the job which a lot of companies are and that's why i quit a lot of these places because i refuse to be a slave especially an underpaid slave so um yeah that's why i quit children's place um where i rate children's place i rate uh, children's place a negative five out of ten they definitely need to um pay their workers more they definitely need to get more hours i understand that for some from some for some locations you need a smaller team okay that's understandable if you want to have a smaller team only keep five people and probably make them all full time it doesn't make sense of having 10 people and having oh shay works one day christine works one day Aaliyah works one day tony works three day. like that doesn't make no sense everybody should be getting paid because that's why we work in these jobs um so i quit children's place and i have no regrets from um quitting children's place so yeah that's going to be the end of this video guys please don't forget to like subscribe comment down below i want to hear you guys reviews have you ever worked for children's place did you like children's place um and how long did you stay i only stayed for like two weeks and i'm glad that i only stayed for two weeks because that job sucked uh, so this is going to be the end of this video and yeah so i'm going to say ciao for now